you are watching 8-bit days a week and I'm just gonna be testing out Fantasy Zone here on the PlayStation Classic I'm not particularly good at this game this has been released on a couple of consoles Sega Master System Sega Mega Drive um, Not sure on the Saturn, but definitely not on the PlayStation 1 uh, I think this there was also like an unofficial Famicom release as well Also on the PC Engine And there's a collection as well on the PlayStation 2. So yeah, it's um, a Sega arcade classic again. A horizontal shoot 'em up. This uh, had a number of sequels, including I think there was like also a uh, Space Harrier type game that's set in this world ah! oof It's a very bright and colorful game But it's really hard actually I mean I have a hard time with this game <laughs> If you want this game on your PlayStation Classic, the this arcade version is definitely the way to go as the other ports usually have something that's uh, sort of a like a deal breaker. Usually it's uh, graphics of course have been uh, no. toned down. Take this and this. Nah, that's it. All right, let's see if I can do better. it so it's not your typical left to right or right to left um, shooter you actually go around a map here and you just have to eliminate those uh, things and once you do the boss will appear 
So at least there's some uniqueness to it. And it's really, you'll think it's really simple, but it's really deceptively hard. Alright. No. Oof, I actually made it. I'll consider myself lucky that time. Is there anything else here? Let's see. I think this is the one I need. Yeah, I'll just stick with that. I'll just make do with my simple shooter here. So may not be obvious on the screen because it's uh, a bit cropped but there is actually a indicator there you know where the enemy that you have to destroy are still present so you just can't really go forward all the way Too busy shooting down that. I should have went to the left instead. Uh, okay. One. Oh, almost got hit there. Okay, well anyway, that was Fantasy Zone, the arcade version running on the PlayStation Classic, and uh, works great. You can load this on your USB drive, you won't have problems if you're a fan of this game. And if you have any other games that you'd like to see, please leave it on the comments, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching 8-Bit Days a Week.